Hello everybody, it's me again! I don't know what that was, again, with my uh, shitty intros, but you know. You can't stop these things, can you? Anyway, hello, it's me. I do a talk video again. Mad Dog 87 talks. Damn it, I use the numbers. Curses. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, I'm proud of the picture. Just saying. I, I did that. I built that. So yeah, this video, what it is explaining is stuff. I'm doing a video. Blah, 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 blah. Actually, I don't know if I may have already uploaded this video by this point. I don't, just don't fucking know. Of me playing Hunger Games Flash game. It's good. Is it good? I don't know. It's not my, it's not my, uh, you know. It's not my choice, me to decide whether it's good or not. I, f I like the outro, you know. I put a lot of effort into the outro. And, uh, because, you know, I tried to get the rhythm right of it and everything. Not gonna spoil it. But yeah, it's good. It's basically me raging. I've done me getting scared, I've done me making stupid comments, and now it's me raging. Not as much as some, but you know, hey. It's slow stuff, you know. I can rage more when uh, I play more rage-worthy games. It's just it's still a rage-worthy game that I play, but you know, it's not. Maybe I'm just... don't rage a lot. So yeah, why am I recording this video? I'll be honest with you. These The point of this talk video is for us to, uh... Just talk nonsense. Uh... Literally, I've just turned the mic on and decided, I know, I'll talk. So I'm just talking to you. And that's the whole point. I'm just gonna talk. And I'm gonna do loads of these at random points. Some might be updates, some just might be me talking crap. But you know, it's good, yes? Sometimes, if you'd like to, I can put this, you on the Skypes and we can have a silly conversation together. I mean, why the hell not? It's always fun to do. So, you know... Good stuff, good stuff. Um, <clears throat> right, what should we talk about, brothers and sisters and um, psychos and explosions? If you're an explosion and you're listening to this vid video, I have to say, I am a fan of your work, you know, blowing up things. Pfft, awesome. Right, okay. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to talk about a few things. First off, uh, let's have a look here. Borderlands 2. I've just picked this up off the floor. This is a fantastic game. I recommend you get it. This is brilliant. I mean, you just pick up guns and you shoot people. You pick up better guns and you shoot better people. And it just gets silly. It's awesome. I mean, I'm the Gunzerker and basically my contribution to the team is I shoot more people and steal all their XP. That's my contribution. I mean, we have the soldier guy uh, on our team. It's Alan, I believe. Well, sorry, uh, I shouldn't have used his name. Uh, Fish Train Express. He's pot. We have like a squad where we play it. He's the soldier. Uh, I'm the Gunzerka. Uh, remember that other one I did? Uh, the Fail Files one? Terry, the ninja Spartan guy. He's our siren. And we haven't got a zero yet, so, you know, that'd be cool if we got a zero. I mean, I'm not bothered, but you know. it's good. It's, it's uh, good. Good, good fun. So yeah, Zero just stabs stuff. Uh, Terry's actually really helpful with this person, just, you know, putting everyone in bubbles and keeping us all alive, and turrets are turrets, you know, just shoot everything. But I shoot everything better, because I've got two guns, you know? It's just what I do. But yeah, it's an absolutely fantastic game. I reckon I'm picking it up. I'm sure you probably have. Why has this turned into a review video? What am I talking about? I'm just talking. I mean, it's what I do. It's the point of these videos. I've already said that. Golly gosh, I can sense this is going to be an awkward however long this video is. Oh yes, another thing. Um, okay. The other day, I was walking down the street. And uh, I was particularly hungry. I had a pound coin in my hand. Walked into the corner shop. I was considerate buying it. Like, I don't know, some chocolate bar. And I saw it glory that was Cadbury's mixed with Oreo and I just thought that's the one I gotta try that so I got it and uh, took a picture of it put it on Facebook uh, got home and tried it and I'll be honest with you as awesome as it sounds it is rather nice but it's not it, it, it just doesn't have that Oreo taste it, it tastes more like white chocolate you know slightly more milky and there's not much, but there's not really biscuit in it. It should be, you know, biscuit bits. In it. it doesn't really. 
It was a bit of a letdown, I'll be honest with you. It was good, though. I mean, for a chocolate bar, it was good, but for an Oreo Capri's thing, it just wasn't quite up to scratch. I mean, I like what Kraft are doing with the company, but, you know, they could do it much better than failing to make an Oreo chocolate. I mean, how do you even fail at something like that? You've got your Capri's. You know, everyone loves Capri's. Then you've got your Oreo. Everyone loves Oreos. You put them together, that's supposed to be an instant hit. But it's not quite, you know, it's not quite what it should be. You know? Could could have done it better. I mean, if if I had to mix uh two sweets together, oh god. Uh it'd be something like it'd be a bag, yeah. It'd be full of you know tank festics, yeah. It'd be full of like tank festics, but uh Oh god. And mix with something else. I don't know if what could we mix them with. Uh shit. Um yeah, I know, we could, uh... I guess you could just drench them in chocolate. That would probably be disgusting, but, you know, it's worth a try. I actually once, uh... <coughs> stop with the voice now. Once, uh... Mr. Brand, as mentioned previously, the Fish Train Express, which is unfortunate that he doesn't do videos anymore. He had computer issues. He... Well, once we just had, like, you know, would talk and stuff, had a glass of Coke. Wasn't much Coke left, pour myself one as well. Didn't know about half the glass. I was disappointed. He tops it up with vinegar. I kid you not. I drink the thing, and I didn't die, and I didn't throw up either. It was quite nice. Well, I mean, you know, it's coke and vinegar, it's probably not meant to be, probably, you know, my teeth should have fallen out, but you know. Basically, it's coke, but much stronger, and then you have a vinegar aftertaste. It's really weird, I'll be honest with you. It's really bloody weird. But anyway, that's my recommendation. Uh, you know, Try that. Coke and vinegar. you got to get the portions right. I mean, don't just, like, fill it with vinegar and then dab a Coke. You've got to do majority Coke, otherwise, you know, you're just basically drinking vinegar. <laughs> Which isn't too good, I'll be honest with you. Ah, I've said that, like, four or five times. Shit. Right, okay. Uh, hmm. I think I had something else as well. Uh, bizarre. No, I had an idea. What I was going to do is, you know, like, boiled eggs? Yeah. What do you think you know ones that you just like literally you cook, do whatever you do with them, you take the shell off and you just eat them. Yeah. Like that, but then you wrap it in bacon and you cook the bacon. That'd be nice. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe even. Uh shit. Put on like a stick or something. That'd be beautiful. You just walk around like it. Or even better, literally just roll bacon into like little balls and cook them. And then put them in, like a bag. You know, like a fast food place, like Burger King has those uh, bags of, like, mini hash browns. Do something like that, you know? Just fucking bacon balls. You don't know if you call them bacon balls, but, you know, still, still, you know. It's just a thought, just a thought. I am no culinary expert, if that is the word, but, you know, unhealthy food's unhealthy food. It's going to be nice whatever the fuck you do to it, you know? Oh god, but you know, any suggestions for really unhealthy food? Put it in the comment bit, you know? That bit, it's just comments. You write your idea in there, you put it in there. It's beautiful. It's a good idea. It's like a Epic Rap Battles of History. I presume you've watched that. If not, why the fuck haven't you watched it? Go watch it. Uh so yeah, I put a comment on that for an idea. Oh Christ, what was it? Uh I was particularly proud of it. I mean, it was a silly idea. It was really bizarre. Like, no one had mentioned it. Oh, shit, what was it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know why I brought that up. I should have just left it as it is. Oh, I haven't got a clue. It's just... whatever. This person versus that one. What would be a good rap battle? Thinking about it now. Uh. I do not know. <laughs> Imagine if a predator started rapping. You just, it's about to kill you, you know, it's, it's got a gun pointed at you. you you're not Ar you realise you're not Arnie, so you know you're going to die. And then he just starts rapping at you. What, what do you do? I mean, do you laugh? I mean, if you laugh, he's going to murder you worse, but... Or do you just clap? I mean, what do you do? What, 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 what do you do? It's just one of those scenarios, you know. So that's the other thing. Uh... You know when people ask you stupid questions, like, if you had to do this or that, what would it be? And it's like, I'm never going to be in that scenario. Why 
why the fuck would I answer it? Because then they'll just go around going, this person likes this and that. No, see, if you, in the perspective of the moment, you put this next to this, and I had to pick one of them, and you're going around like, I just said that for no reason. You know? It's just perspective. Or something. I don't know. It's good, though. I mean, I mean those kind of things, because you can really get, like, key knowledge from people by asking them stuff like that. If you were in a room with uh, two buttons, a red one, and a orange one, one of them made you explode and the other just made, like, played just a Bieber or something, which would you click? I mean, you, of course you told, but, you know, personally I'd just, explosion. Yeah. Rather blow up than have to bloody listen to beep. I mean, what's with that guy? Who does he think he is? He's a. Uh, oh, I'm all. However he speaks. I'm. I, I, I don't even know what he bloody sounds like. I mean, I've heard the songs. Like, on the radio, unfortunately. And in video skin it. But. If I recall, he speaks in a really stupid manner. And, uh. So yeah, I can't really impersonate him. He is obnoxious. He's very obnoxious. He's a weird fella. I mean, I wouldn't even call him a fella. He's like a fucking, I don't know, like a seed or something. What the fuck is seed? What am I talking about? What? Why would he be... Alright, he's kind of... What would you call him? Uh, Well, a shithead, obviously, but... Uh, I mean... In, in terms of life and stuff, he would be the, uh... Well, pff, I don't know, the town moron. I mean, actually, worse than town Town moron's awesome. I mean, or what is it, the town fool or town idiot or something? Does Upton have one of them? Upton should have a town idiot. Unless I'm kind of, just by doing this video, fulfilling that role. <laughs> I like that name, it's got a good ring to it. I don't know why I've been doing that strange accent all the way through. I really don't. It's like the um, that first video where I told a random story. Uh, actually, it was, was it like the third or something. I'll check now. I'm gone. Okay. Well, anyway, the purpose is I checked that to. Um, was it? Oh shit! I have completely forgotten what I was talking about with that video. Oh, I remember now. Accents. In that video, I did the Russian accent for most of it. And then it got to a point where I was literally just talking in Russian throat, for accent the whole time, you know, without even, even though I was on like the different characters, I was still bloody <clears throat> doing whatever. Okay, let's check. Ten more video. <gasps> I'm sorry. Oh. Just looking over my my session with Skate. Do you remember those videos? Sorry about them. Yep, yeah, third one. First one. Pointless video. Now that. Me pouring a glass of Coca-Cola to the Driver 3 theme. I don't know why I did that. It was just to test my YouTube channel. And that's got 84 views. It's my most watched video. And I fucking hate that video. It's just so so stupid, you know. There's no effort put in it. I just got a camera and did it. Yet, yeah, that seems to be my most popular one. And I really don't know why. I mean, do you like that kind of thing instead of long, hard-edited montage videos or playthroughs or shit. Do you prefer that kind of nonsense making thing? Because I mean I can do that if you wanted me to do another pointless video. Cause, uh, I actually had an idea for another pointless video where, you know Gil's theme or whatever it is, the one where it goes with everything. I was gonna just record bacon fizzling from various angles, then edit it together so it goes with the music and just have that music playing, and that'd be the video. So it'd just be like dramatic bacon. Because you all know dramatic bacon is awesome. Bacon's generally awesome. Because you can tell because I've mentioned it like twice already in this talk. Through. But you know, bacon is like. It's like. It's. It's. Uh, angel. Angel. An angelic. Let's say angelic, yeah. It's good it's good bacon. You know. 
you got to respect bacon. I mean, here it's all right. It's quite good. Some places you go, you get that undercooked, and it's just like, what the fuck are you doing? But when I was in America, God, they cooked it so it was beautiful. It's like you couldn't even taste the fat. It was great. And they do streaky bacon as well, but they do it properly. They do streaky bacon properly. I mean, surely you can do it here, but then it's just like, if you don't do it properly, it's like 50% fat. And no one wants to just eat fat. It's disgusting. So, you've got to know how to do streaky bacon. You know? Oh, God, thinking back. When I'm going to go over this video tonight, before I try and upload it, it's just going to sound like an absolute load of drivel. It's me talking nonsense. But that's what you have to expect. That's what this segment is. It's Mad Dog Talks. I just talk. For no reason. I get bored, so I just talk. You know? It's, it's just what I do. Right, let's uh, see if there's anything interesting on my computer that could maybe spark some more conversations. Oh, I've got Steam open. No, I haven't got Steam open. I just lied to you. Come on. Let's see if there's another game I can... Oh. Yeah. There you are, you bugger. Team Fortress 2. I don't know why I called it a bugger, because it's not. It's a beautiful game. War-themed hat simulator. <laughs> and hopefully, if you know me, you, you know I like hats. Hats are, hats are cool. Are they? I don't know. I was just kind of half-quoting Doctor Who. Though. I like hats, you know. Hats are awesome. In my opinion, they're awesome, of course. I mean, you know, freedom of speech and all that. Malarkey. But you know, I just like to wear them. It's good. It's probably doing, like really not too good stuff from hair. Because I wear them all like all the time when I'm not in school. So my hair's probably gonna like die or something. Just imagine it, the hair's like No please don't kill me no I don't know why the heck my hair sounds like that. But that's uh, what my hair sounds like. It's like no please stop wearing the hairs. I want to I want to tan myself in the sun. Yes, you should leave the hat now. And that's uh, that's how my hat talks. My hat, my hair talks, and then my hat's just like, no, mate, you're gonna stay right there, and I'm gonna absorb all the sunlight. What was that accent? Jeez, I don't even know what it was. It was like a trying. To, it was just a fail, like ridiculous fail. <laughs> I tell you, ridiculousness. Oh, APB reloaded. Yes, need to mention this. No one I know plays APB. It annoys me. APB is fantastic. I mean, if you did it in like a group of friends, literally you could all just get in ridiculous vehicles and go around buggering everyone and pissing them off. It's genius. I mean, it's brilliant. It's absolutely fantastic. So, anyone I know, uh, I, if you want to add me on Steam, just ask, and then we can play some APB Reloaded. It's free. But yeah, you need a game first account, which is also free. Well, anyway, gotta go to your peoples, so, because, jeez, 18 minutes 40. Alright, see you guys. Bye.